Welcome back, my aviation family, to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about 10 reasons for not becoming a pilot. Number one, job guarantee, job security. You have to spend lots of money to study aviation. A job may not be granted despite spending large amounts of money. You have to pay for your training in some companies. The more prestigious the airline, the higher their fees. Another factor that will make the cost higher is the location of the school, what country it is based on. Number two, personal life. Compared to many other professions, working in aviation is totally different from the rest. You don't get your standard days off or weekends off. Majority of your time you'll be spent on the job and away from your family. You'll be away from your family for days, even not weeks at a time. As a result, you may miss important life-changing family occasions, such as weddings or other ceremonies, holidays. Three, sleep pattern. Yes, sleep pattern. Some companies in Europe do not operate flights at night. However, most airlines do work at night too, especially in Asia. Flights are rosters. There will be a certain number of flights during the entire day, early morning flights, afternoon, evening, and nights. You will have a different shifts at different times, and this will likely cause a disturbed sleep pattern. But even more importantly, and negatively, it will affect your health. 4. It should come as a surprise to know that continual flying at high altitudes will certainly have an effect in your body sooner than later. Consequently, this will expose your body to different conditions. One of them is pressurization. For example, the common altitude could reach up to 8,000 feet. And this means that you are breathing in oxygen as if you are on the top of an 8,000 feet high mountain. Therefore, the oxygen you receive will be less than if you are on the ground or at or above sea level. The air inside an airplane cabin is dry due to the plate system. As a result of this, your skin will be exposed or becoming more drained than usual, especially on a long haul flight you will feel thirstier and your skin will feel very dry. You can take care of keeping your skin health by drinking a moderate amount of water. This is the solution and using some SPF creams that will protect your skin. Exposure to our radiation. If you are flying a private jet that's flying at 45,000 feet or above and crossing the Atlantic, you will be exposed to a small amount of radiation. However, the more often you fly, the more exposed you become. So your radiation level must be monitored. Number five, medical tests have to be renewed every year or every six months, depending on the company. If you are over 40 years old, most of the civil aviation authorities requires a check to be performed every six months. You must pass your medical for you to continue your duty as a pilot. If you fail it, then this can be a very stressful because you can lose your license. Six, a salary. There's a common misconception among people that pilots earn a high salary that makes them super rich. This is not true. As a matter of fact, many jobs actually pay more than that of a pilot. Pilots should earn a lot more than what they actually make because many risks come with this job. Training to become a pilot requires a lot of money even to study and it can take many years to earn that money back through wages. 7. Age limit. The age limit for pilots varies from company to company or from one country to another country as in the range of 60 to 65 years. Unlike some other professions where there isn't an age limit, even if you are in a great shape or health. Once you reach the age limit, that's the end of your pilot career. Number eight, unstable lifestyle. 
Many pilots work abroad. For example, a pilot born in the US works for a Middle Eastern airline. The lifestyle there is very different than that what they are used to. Lifestyle factors such as culture, people, food, environment and language come into place. If your contract with one company ends, you could choose to go to another company based in another country. Some people may not like significant frequent changes, they want stability in their job and career, so this is definitely something to consider too. Number 9. Exams. Keep your pilot license. You need to pass a simulator test every 6 months. In addition to this, you have to do courses and other criteria. This can definitely add to your already heavy workload and lead to stress-related problems. A lot of hard work, commitment and efforts are required by you to be successful. If you fail, you risk losing your license or job. Limited jobs. Majority of the money that a company earns spent on fueling aircraft. And this is for a fact. When oil prices are low, an airline can afford to expand their fleet, creating more jobs vacancies. However, when oil prices are high, then companies start to struggle and it costs a lot more to fuel their fleet. If an airline is struggling, people's job could be at stake. A pilot's life is a very unique as it is an opportunity to discover something new every day. Don't let these reasons put you off becoming a pilot because if it is your dream to become a successful pilot, then nothing should stop you achieving and fulfilling that dream. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to my channels. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and subscribe on my website www.pilotamiri.com and as always, we speak aviation. See you next week.